corkscrew punch and stay tuned. What's up fight fans, it's Will Butler here and today I'm going to show you how to throw the corkscrew punch. They call it the corkscrew punch because you end up turning your hand all the way over to land on your opponent. You can use it with your jab or you can use it with your rear hand. A lot of people think or I've heard that apparently this punch can cut your opponent but I don't think it does. It's just a way of being able to get through their guard. Bill's got a nice tight guard. As I throw in the punch and twist, he can sneak through the gap of his guard. Where if I'm just punching like that, if you hold it a bit tighter, if I'm punching like that, sometimes it blocks. But if I twist that through, you can get that punch through and you can get a little bit more extension. I know people say you shouldn't lean forward in a fight when you throw punches, but you can't help it to a certain extent to lean forward a little bit. I think what people mean by that is they don't want you to exaggerate to lean forward. Like that's too far. But with this, it just gives you that little bit more reach against your opponent. And if you're a shorter fighter, like I am against Bill, if you put your guard up one more time, I could sneak underneath and up and catch you. So I could come up to the head and then come into the body and mix it up. So it's just another little weapon for your arsenal, the corkscrew jab. Give it a try. Let us know in the comment section uh, if you've ever tried this in a fight. Bill asked me earlier if I have, and I haven't tried it in one of my fights, but maybe I'll try it next time. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button like you're smashing the corkscrew jab in, and I'll see you all next time.